Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'd like to go over all of my vinegar syndrome and criterion that I picked up over the last month or so. Welcome back guys. Uh, like I said, I just want to go over all of the Criterion and the uh, Vinegar Syndrome titles that I picked up over the last month. Um, I participated in the Vinegar Syndrome sale for the first time. Uh, it was like the halfway to Black Friday sale and I actually just got my package today for the Barnes & Noble 50% off uh, Ju or July sale. So I'm just gonna jump right into it because I actually got uh, several different stacks here. So I'm just gonna go in the order that I got everything. Um, yeah, uh, starting things off, I saw that this is actually going out of print on Vinegar Syndrome site, and uh, unfortunately it did not have the slipcover because that was long out of print, but I got the Blu-ray of Jack Frost. I've not actually seen this movie, but I've always been intrigued by it, so um, that will be one that I'll be watching here soonish. Uh, the next one here um, is another one that I wasn't able to get this slipcover on, but I did notice that I think this was going out of print, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not 100% sure on that, but uh, that is a blood beat, which um, unfortunately though, when I got it, uh, I heard the rattling of a disc, which I was really disappointed in. Uh, it was actually just the DVD copy. However, the um, there are like slight scratches on the DVD. And uh, as far as I can tell, it doesn't affect the play, but I'm more concerned. Um, the, the, the actual case itself doesn't hold the disc in it super well. so reached out to Severin or Vinegar Syndrome, uh, hoping that I can get a replacement case at the bare minimum. But the next one, this was one that I watched, uh, I was watching the um, slipcover just like go down really, really far. And the last minute I placed an order for it and I'm glad I did because it looks awesome. Um, but that is the movie Surf 2, which I've learned that there was not a Surf 1 movie. Uh, so I'm very, it looks weird, very intrigued, but uh, this is one that I watched the other night uh, for the first time, but uh, I got the 4K of uh, this is Invisible Maniac, uh, and it was actually it was fine. Um, it's kind of cheesy, but I mean that's kind of what with uh, Vinegar Syndrome a lot of it is going to be cheesy. Um, but the next one here, um, I'm tempted not to actually open this up till Christmas because it is uh, don't open till Christmas. <laughs> like, but. Um, it looks interesting. Uh, I always I always find the Christmas horror movies um, very intriguing. So, and the next one here I got was uh, a movie that looked also interesting. I should say I've seen none of these that I bought from uh, Vinegar Syndrome, but uh, this is a Hitcher in the Dark, and so this looked interesting. So, I decided to grab that one. And actually, I watched this one the other night for the first time, and it was pretty fun. Um, I love the box on it. I think it's awesome. But this is uh, the movie Sensor. So I think this was recommended by Films at Home, if I'm not mistaken. And so I decided to grab that one. And then this one, um, this one was like a newer release. I believe it's 4K, nope, Blu-ray. Um, and it just like looks interesting. And I think the artwork's really cool. The backs, I think, is really cool too. Um, so I'm very, very curious on this. Uh, I think it's actually three movies if in here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, and those are the, uh, the three titles, if you'll go and focus. Um, so, very intrigued. Um, yeah, just thought it looked really cool, so decided to get that. And the next one here I got was actually an eBay find. Uh, it's Criterion, but I um, at the last minute, I kind of just went on eBay and went through my wish list for the Barnes & Noble sale, and this was at the end of... Um, July or June going into July and I decided just to quickly just check to see if any of my wish list items were cheaper on eBay than they would be during the sale and this one was I think by like five six bucks and so I was missing this this is by number 195 uh, in the collection so I was actually missing this in the in my uh, collection so happy to get this uh, cheaper than the sale but um, I did actually end up getting a couple more eBay stuff which I'll get to um, and then I um, 
didn't realize that the Barnes & Noble sale was happening on uh, June 30th. Uh, it's kind of a, I feel like it was traditionally like somewhere within the first week of July is when it would start. Um, and on June 30th, I was sitting at home and I just saw on uh, their Facebook or their Instagram and it just said Barnes & Noble 50% off. And so uh, me and my wife jumped in the car and we uh, drove to Barnes & Noble. And I was, sadly, I was only able to pick up uh, three things at the, uh, the uh, Barnes & Noble. Uh, as you can see in this clip that there wasn't much selection at the particular store that I went to. Uh, sadly, it seems that uh, Criterion, at least Barnes & Noble, is kind of like knocking their stock down um, and they are more focused on selling Criterion online than selling it in the store, which is kind of unfortunate because I genuinely do love going to the store and picking it up. And um, I was able to find three things on my list when I was there, uh, but the majority of my order that I, well, the majority of my list that I got uh, was all ordered online. And so the three things that I ended up grabbing when I was there uh, which was the first one I had to definitely get was a uh, Inland Empire, and so I absolutely love David Lynch and I love everything that he's put out, and so um, this is a movie that was very hard to find on DVD for a while and harder to find on Blu-ray, and I feel like they didn't even ever release a Region One Blu-ray of the movie, and so when I heard that this was coming to Criterion, I was tempted just to buy it for the $40 price tag, but I decided to hold off until the sale. And so day one of the sale, I definitely had to um, pick this up. Um, the next one, this was on the, which site was it? BFI? One of the, like, I think it was like the, the one site um, that does a, a poll like every 10 years, I wanna say, um, of the top 100 greatest films of all time. And so this is supposedly the greatest movie ever made, number one. Um, I've not seen it, so I really can't say if it is or isn't. Uh, however, I did I did decide to grab it um, because I really want to see it. And that's spine number uh, 484, which I should say for Inland Empire, Inland Empire the uh, spine number is 1175. Um, and so this one is, I think it's, you know, 201 minutes. Um, I think it's just about as far as I know, it's just about a woman cleaning their apartment. So I am um, very intrigued to watch this, but um, also very excited. Uh, the next one, do you want to be in the video? Come here. So this is my cat. <laughs> Her name's Hazel. She wants to be in the video. Oh, you're getting caught, caught on the mic. Okay. Sorry about that. The next one that I, uh, I ended up getting, uh, which was one that I was actually really excited to uh, get. As soon as I heard it was announced, I'm like, I need to get that day one. And I think this actually came out um, only a few days ago, if I'm not mistaken, or a couple of weeks ago. Um, but that is the Pasolini 101 Blu-ray box set, um, which I think is fantastic. I really, really am glad that they put this out. I'm very, I have not seen any of the films in here, but I'm very excited to actually watch them. Um, so far, I think I have all the other Pasolini movies that are within the collection, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the only complaint that I have about this, um, well, for starters, is that the size of the box itself, I have not opened this as you can see, so I'm, I'm curious if there's a reason for this, um, the size of this packaging, but the size of this box, um, it doesn't match any of the other sizes of boxes that they have. So I was kind of anticipating this to be the same size of the uh, Wong Kar Wai set, um, or the Angus set, but like I, um, so far it's pretty much like no other criterion, like the size of it is no other criterion. Uh, set. This is about the height of a DVD. Um, actually, let me just use. Um, so it's about the height of a DVD, which I appreciate because that means it would fit on most shelves. But as you can see, it's uh, definitely wider than a DVD case. And so if it does, if you do want to put it on a uh, shelf, it's going to be sticking out further than everything else. I guess you could put it on its side. Um, I guess that wouldn't be much better. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm assuming they want it to be like facing out. Um, 
So, and I'll have it facing out up on my uh, top of my Criterion shelf. Uh, but I'm very glad that I was able to uh, get that set. And then on the first of the month of July, I ended up actually doing a Facebook Marketplace deal uh, where somebody had a free beta player, or uh, Betamax uh, player. And I ended up picking it up. But I got the player. Um, it's in perfect condition. It works great, uh, but absolutely free. They ended up, uh, I think the owners of it bought a house and it was sitting in their basement uh, when they moved in and they weren't sure what it was. So they just threw it up on Facebook for free. So ended up getting this for free. Um, and it was nice too, because it came with uh, like the remotes, the manuals, everything. So it's pretty much like in brand new condition. So very excited about that. But while I was out picking that up, I ended up stopping at my uh, local exchange and I picked up a few more things when I was there. So the first thing I actually got uh, when I was at this exchange, um, I ended up uh, spotting this, which is something that's been on my wish list uh, since it was released. And um, I was hoping for a Blu-ray release. However, I don't see that happening. Uh, I think it was uh, only, I think it's only going to ever be put out on DVD, which is really unfortunate because I think a Blu-ray or a 4K release of this uh, particular item would be fantastic to see. But I'm, I am happy that we are, we're even getting a physical copy of it. Uh, but that is HBO show Euphoria. This is season one and two. And I think it's just one of those shows that the... Uh, the lighting and cinematography are very, very well done. And so I'm very happy to uh, add this to my collection. And the next thing I got, um, I should say that I also um, got a few items from the Severin sale. Uh, I'm not going to talk about what I got the, yet. I um, Those ones are still going to be, I think they said they're going to be shipped out mid-August. So it's going to be a while till I see them. However, I did spot this at the exchange. On the Severn website, this is no longer available to even like purchase. And I don't know if it went out of print or what, but I decided when I saw it at the exchange to grab it because it was on my list. Um, and this is a double feature of Cannibal Terror and Devil Hunter. So looked interesting. Um, I watched Cannibal Terror last night. And it was, it was okay, uh, kind of dragged a little bit in my opinion, but um, I figured I'd grab that from the exchange. Those are the items I grabbed at the exchange. I didn't want to go crazy there because I knew that Criterion Month is still going and if I had any extra money, I'd, I'd like to put it towards uh, Criterion. Um, but I actually ended up grabbing two more items off eBay, same situation as before, which the, these were cheaper than buying them through, uh, Barnes and Noble. And so this is by number 160 and it's just another film that I was missing within my uh, collection. I think I got this one for $10, I think I want to say. Um, so $5 less than what it would sell for, uh, during the sale. And then this one actually, um... I noticed on Criterion's website, it says currently unavailable and on the Barnes and Noble website, you can't even find it anymore. So it's not even on their website. And so I don't know if this is out of print or going out of print or what the situation is, but I did decide to grab it. Um, and I, I got it cheaper than what the, like it would be, cause it would be $15 cause it's a DVD, but I got it cheaper than that on eBay. So I decided to quickly grab that, but that is a, Empire or Emperor of Passion. So another film I've not seen, but um, yeah, just looked interesting. And then on to what I got today in the mail. Uh, I should mention that today is July 5th, uh, 2023. And um, at least when I'm recording this, I don't know if I'll be able to upload this video the same day, but um, I got 13 items uh, from Criterion. Let's give a quick sneak peek. Um, and I am very excited about these because essentially I focused in on films from spy number, I think it was one around like, what's that? 142 on to one or 200. And so in that range, I'm trying to fill all the little gaps that I'm missing. Uh, and so, um, yeah, I just focused in on that because in previous videos, I mentioned this before where I'm trying to get all of the criterion uh, movies. And so I'm, basically just trying to, I, I kind of go through and buy up the ones that I'm like interested in getting, like such as like Inland Empire. Um, but I'm also during the sales, I try to grab as many like 
like spine numbers that I'm missing as well. So I got pretty much all the ones that I wanted um, for the sale. There's a, still a few that I would like to get, obviously, because this is a fantastic collection. But I'm just going to run through these really quick. Uh, this is spine number 167, 168, and 169. Uh, this is actually a box set that I think it's a music. Yeah, it's like it's like a concerts, I think. I mean, Jimi Hendrix is in here, The Who, um, Jefferson Airplane, and yeah, so um, Simon and Garfunkel. So like, yeah, I guess it's just like a concert, uh, like a music festival. Yeah, so uh, I, I believe that this set was released like three different times throughout Criterion's history. There was like this set, and then there was one with like a tan cover, if I'm not mistaken, and then I think there was like a DVD set as well. Uh, so... Yeah, very interested why there's been so many different variations, but this is the newest variation that they've uh, put out. Uh, the next one here is spine number 198. I should have put these in spine number order, um, but just another one that I am missing on uh, in my uh, collection. Um, also, I should say, I don't think I've seen... Yeah, I've not seen any of these, and so these are all completely blind buying, but I know with Criterion that... So far, I have yet to be really like disappointed with a release that they put out because I know that they truly do care about um, film. Uh, this is one that uh, this is spine number one sixty three, but this is one that even on eBay I feel like it doesn't drop below twenty. I've not seen it below twenty dollars, and so this is one that I for sure wanted to grab, and that is the movie uh, Hopscotch. And so I feel like. Yeah, I, 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 the DVD, like, or the Blu-ray, rather, sits right around, like, $30. So, happy to grab this for uh, $20. And then this is another one that I always saw that I was always intrigued by, but I just never uh, picked it up. But that's spy number 200, and that is The Honeymoon Killers. And then this is one that was out of print for for a while, actually. And then I think it got a re-release um, a few years back. And I wouldn't mind grabbing the old DVD just because it's kind of, I don't know, cool to have different artwork variations. But this is spy number 155. And this is part of that um, uh, Tokyo Olympiad. Um, so this is par part of the Olympics from the 1964 games. Yeah, so, yeah, it's a... I'm not super, super into sports and like Olympics and all that stuff, but I do find it fascinating. And I've been putting off buying the Olympics, like the Olympic box set from Criterion, uh, which is a $200 box set, but that's during the sale, but someday I'll get it. Uh, the next one here, uh, I think this might have been out of print too for a while, but that is the movie Ratcatcher. This is spy number 162. So I might be mistaken on that. I think it was out of print though, if I'm not mistaken. And the next one here is spy number 166 and that is Down by Law. This is spy number 153. Um, I love the, I think I, this artwork to me is very interesting. I don't know why, just, I really just love the uh, artwork. And this is another one that I've I feel like it was hard to come across it cheap on eBay, at least. Uh, and this is um, spine number 177. Just another one that I'm missing. Spine number 192. One, This is actually a DVD. There was three DVDs I should mention that I picked up um, because they're only available on a DVD. Uh, this is spy number 144. Um, that's Loves of a Blonde. Go focus. Uh, and I found this interesting that this came in like a clear case, um, which I feel like most of the DVDs usually come in like a um, like black case. But uh, and the same thing with this one. This is spy number uh, 172. This is a uh, Pepe Lemor Lemoc. I don't know how to actually say some of these. Um, but this is a DVD that's French, I believe. But yeah, so it's by number 172. And then the last one that I got um, from the, uh, at least online, uh, this is spy number 918. I've just wanted to see this film. It's I've seen like, um, 
like just different screenshots and stuff of it and it always looked interesting but that is uh, the color of pomegranates so another one that i've just been interested in so that so far is everything that i've picked up this month um i did do i bought a couple things during the uh summer i thought i don't actually know what it's called is it the summer sale on um vinegar syndrome um where they have like the one week or summer sale week i think that might that I think that's what it stands for. They call it the SSW um, sale, but the like there's a on the Sever or nope not Severin on Vinegar Syndrome's website. There's a week where they have each day is a different like item. So like the one day was box sets, and the next day might be Blu-ray, might be you know um, slip cover or like non slip cover editions or stuff like that. Um, and so I I picked up a few things there, which I won't say what they are, but uh, those might be in my next uh, haul video where I talk about the Severin uh, titles that I also picked up because that's going to take a while for those to get here. But um, I'm hoping to go back to Barnes & Noble maybe one more time and maybe, maybe place one more order. We'll have to see. But um, yeah, I guess that's that's all that I picked up. <laughs> I feel like that was a lot. But I appreciate all you guys sticking around and watching this video. Um, let me know what you guys picked up this month. I'm very curious on um, what everybody else is grabbing during the sale. Um, does yours Barnes and Noble, like does your local Barnes and Noble, does it do, is it doing the same thing where it's kind of like getting rid of um, their stock and it's kind of like, cause I would say our, the one that I usually go to, the section is quite literally half of what it used to be, uh, which is really disappointing. And I, they don't have box sets anymore, really. Um, they used to have a whole like nice, uh, display of all these different uh, Criterion box sets, and I know some people complain about the like the um, like the spider wrap thing, the alarm system thing that they have on the uh, on their sets. Uh, but certain um, certain Barnes and Noble will like um, put like little pieces of cardboard in between the wire and the actual box set. That way, it doesn't damage the set itself. So. Uh, that was what my Barnes & Noble did, at least, and it worked really well. So uh, it does make me sad that they're starting to get rid of uh, Criterion. I am kind of hoping that this sale kind of shows that there is still people interested in Criterion and like that it's worth having it in store, um, but we'll see. So anyway... Thank you guys so much for, again for watching. I do appreciate it. Thank you for everyone who tuned into my live stream a couple weeks ago. I really do appreciate it. It was a lot of fun to do, and I'm hoping to do those uh, maybe twice a month, maybe once a month, um, somewhere in that range. I'm still trying to figure out what that's going to look like yet, but uh, I do appreciate all the support and um, all. I love interacting with you guys. So. Um, leave me a comment, shoot me a message. I'd love to hear from you. So uh, I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you. Bye.